Yeah, I'm gonna of get course. it because of you. Thank you for the review. It was awesome. All right, nice to see you. Look at that! That is a warship right there! Okay, okay back to my ride. See the, uh, see the marine life there? See the... That looks like maybe a bottlenose dolphin and... Maybe another dolphin and... Kind of like Nemo and... I think that's a great white shark down there. I kid you not, I thought that that was like somebody's lost inflatable all last summer. Turns out they put them out there for like the kayakers and the paddle boarders to, to go around. Those things are out there on purpose. And back on that, uh, back on that juice tip. It's a beautiful day out. My plan was not to open boxes on today's episode, but I really want my couch back, and I had some people over this morning for a meeting, and there was nowhere for them to sit, so I think, I think I'm... I really do love getting packages. It's like Christmas every day. I did that Casey Neistat book club a couple weeks ago. I sold a lot of books, so I imagine that mail time is going to involve a lot of books. Thank you for the books. More books. A handmade carbon fiber mechanical pencil. Thank you. A new wheel for my grinder. Thanks. New shoes. No shoes. Grill bot is the world's first automatic grill cleaning robot. I live in New York City. I don't I don't have a threat. Thank you. You know, I never made a fidget spinner vlog episode. I feel like everybody else on YouTube did, so. I didn't need to cover that, but uh, I really appreciate you sending me all these fidget spinners. I'll be sure to fidget spin all, except for that one. Producing high function fitness and combat gear. Nice tights. Light up belts for when I'm on the boosted board. Thank you. Dear Casey. You know that show Fairly Odd Parents? There's a cartoon that was on when you were kids. <laughs> The guy who draws that show, Butch Hartman, actually drew this of me. Thanks, Butch. But this isn't from him. This is from somebody else named Drew. Thanks, Drew. Thanks, Butch. Check us out on Kickstarter as we prepare for phase two of our... It's a bunch of t-shirts, but I don't know what... Big fan of yours, blah, blah, blah. It literally... It literally says, big fan of yours, blah, blah, blah. I appreciate that. This is so good. Look at that. What? Books. Thanks, Joe. That's just my new drill that I ordered. Dear Casey, I searched for my passion and I found this. Awesome, man. Brian, thanks for this sweet poster. This says for Marlon. I'm not going to open it. I wouldn't feel right about that. Marlon, I'm going to save this for you. This is the letter, I'm not gonna read it to you because it's long, but look how nice of a job they did printing this. They made it look like the New York Times. Thank you, and I will read this and get back to you, Prof. Glenn and Nicola. Hi Casey, I'm the founder of Kiki Moon. Well, this is a lovely blanket. This weighs about 50 pounds, and it says, we would appreciate it if you would open on camera. I appreciate how polite that is. This is a custom painting of my face with a bunch of words written on it that I've said. This is an amazing work of art, but I appreciate this. But this is going to be given to one of the people who donated in my fundraiser last week. 
If you missed that, I'll link it below. You can still donate, and I'm gonna pick people randomly and send them pictures of myself that I'm too insecure to hang in my own home or studio. But thank you! Dope skateboard land yacht. Juiced electric skateboard. Looks a lot like a boosted board. All right, I'm not gonna test this in this episode. I'm gonna wait and do a comprehensive test with this versus a boosted board. But thank you. Timmy is an average kid that no one understands. Mom and dad and Vicky always giving him commands. Uh, what is happening here? I opened up some fan mail. I have something for you, Max. You do? Yeah. Oh my god. I thought you could put that this. That is amazing. I thought maybe you could put this in your bedroom. <laughs> what do you think? The wife would love it. This would go next to all my other Casey Neistat portraits that I've made. <laughs> Eklavia Patel. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear friend Max Joseph. And art appraiser. And art appraiser Max Joseph. Max, why are you in town? Um, I just finished season six of Catfish. Max stars in an H in a MTV television series called Catfish. Max, I really wanted to like go outside and shoot a video with you or something, but uh, you're just sitting uploading your video. Every time I've tried to export this video, there's been like an error like 60 to 70% of the way through. Will this video be live the time that this, this vlog yes. goes? Yes, it will. Okay, then I'll link Max's video below. Go see it. It's called, I don't really swear much on the vlog, Max. I'll say it then. It's called Dicks. It's called Dicks, and it's a softcore all-male. It's actually a fantastic short video that Maxie made, and it's about whether, tell me if I pitch this right. It's about whether or not you have to be a total jerk to be like a good boss, more specifically to be a good movie director. Do you need to be a dick to be successful? Right, it's like Steve Jobs, it was a notorious dick, but he was such a good business leader. Do they, do they go hand in hand? Is there a correlation between being a dick and a good business leader? To find out, Watch Maxie's movie, linked below, provided he has it uploaded before his flight tonight. We got 46%. <laughs> Come on. Whoa! Uh, why? <laughs> A serious error has occurred that requires... I'm gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Wait, you have to die again? Maxie, these guys do not like it when I film. If you're a long time viewer of the vlog, you might remember I used to live near here and I film these guys because they sell counterfeit handbags and they threaten to uh... I just want you, the audience, to know that I did offer Max here a boosted board and he declined the offer. He said he doesn't feel comfortable on a boosted board, so the city bike thing was his idea. How do you feel? Feeling great. What a, what a nice day. <laughs> you look great, man. Why are you off your bike right now? We were stopped for a second. I was like in an on that awkward corner. The reason why Max is in town right now you is- You can't tell that story. Oh, God, New York City is awesome, isn't it? All right, Max, I gotta, I gotta, you got a flight to catch and I have to go take Owen to uh, a fitness class I promised him we'd do together. It's fun, we do, it's like a father-son thing. Sounds amazing. It's amazing. They should make exercise things on, on airplanes. Airplane, right? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, which way? This way. It's far. Is it? Owen, right, right, right there. Owen is home from college and he has another five days or six days before his summer program begins. 
and he's here in the city. Great Robin the Kid, I missed him. Boosted board beats bike every time. Take a ride here. What's up, Casey? That's it, switch, my favorite exercise class. If you're ever in New York City, you should come check it out. This is not a not a paid advertisement. I gotta get changed. Go do it quickly. Do you mind that I show up with two minutes notice? Uh, for you? No, you're good. Good class today or what? Always a good class. Always a good Always. class. I'm locked and loaded. All right, just finished class. It's an intense class. Yeah. Oh and I are gonna meet for a smoothie and then we're going home. Those puppies were so cute, oh my god. <laughs> 